Hey guys, welcome back to the TeamNBL.com development page. I'm Music by Lucas, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to make Future House. So first off, what is Future House? Uh, Future House is amazing. Future House is a fusion between Deep House and EDM. You may have heard it from Don Diablo, Madison Mars, Oliver Heldens. Not everyone can do it right, but if you pay attention to this video, you'll be able to do it better. Today we won't go into too much detail. I want to make sure that you guys understand the three basic steps to making Future House. So let's get started. All right, so for step one, we're going to talk about the drums. So in traditional EDM, you have a more punchy kick, uh, the kind of that hard well traditional kick, something like this. We're all used to that, right? In Future House, you have the option, since it is a fusion, to use a few different types of kicks. Um, you can use a more subby kick, something like this. You could use something more deep, um, maybe something like this. Or you could use a, a very sharp kind of kick, similar to the Hardwell one, um, a little less punchy, something like this. For these kind of kicks, I recommend either Nexus 2 or Kick 2. Step 2, we're going to talk about the melody. Uh, with traditional EDM, you're going to hear a lot more synths. Uh, in Future House, you're going to hear a lot more bass, especially modulated bass lines. Uh, I'll show you some examples right now. This is what I'm talking about by modulated bass. Now one thing you'll notice with this bass is that it kind of keeps that pattern, that dun 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 dun, and then it changes dun 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 dun. You have to kind of mess around like that with Future House and you have to have fun with the rhythm. In the beginning of the song, you can actually have it be more one, two, three, and kind of build slowly, but towards the drop, you want to make sure you do some fun rhythmic things to make it be kind of like ear candy. Now you may be asking where can I find uh, a good modulated bass like that. If you want to go cheap, Silent is a great plugin you can use for that. Nexus is also a fantastic plugin, Nexus 2. You go on to beatportsounds.com and you could uh, search Future House and you could find a lot of bass presets on there. For an example of how I use modulated bass in a track, you can listen to my track Promises uh, with All In. I'll give you a little example on the drop here with the modulated bass. And that's how you get that Future House sound. All right, step three, we're gonna talk about the vocal chop. Now, with most kinds of EDM, and Future House is definitely included in this, you're not gonna hear that many tracks with a full vocal. Full vocals are hard to get. You have to have lyrics, you have to get someone to sing them, of course. So having a vocal chop is kind of a cheaper way, and it still sounds really cool, to keep people engaged in your song and to make your song sound more original. One tip I'd like to give you with using vocal chops is to make sure that you have them in the high EQ range. You want to make sure that they're in the high EQ range so that they're not going to be uh, masked by the, the modulated bass or any other part of the song. You want them to stand out kind of on top of everything. Alright, so now I'm going to talk to you about uh, how I used vocal chop in one of my songs. So going back to my song Promises, uh, I use this vocal chop, which you will hear in the beginning of the track. So a lot of people have asked me how I did that, so now I'm going to show you. So this vocal chop actually came from a Nexus 2 expansion pack uh, called EDM Voice, which is one of my favorite vocal chop uh, preset expansions out there. And actually, if you get this expansion, or if you use Nexus 2, and then you start listening to uh, artists that you like, uh, EDM artists that you like, you'll start noticing that I'm not the only one uh, who uses this. Uh, a lot of people are using this expansion. So what this allows you to do, it actually has a preset arpeggiated vocal chop in here, which you can then go into and manipulate. So what I did, if you look at the MIDI here, uh, is I already have kind of my own MIDI um, that I've, uh, my notes that I created here, and then when I play them, it comes out sounding like this. So, very cool. So what you can do is you can go actually into Nexus to the ARP, uh, section here and you can actually manipulate the vocal yourself and if you I mean if you turned off the arc it would sound like this and you wouldn't really have much <laughs> you know by itself so what really gives it that power is the arpeggiator which is inside Nexus now Nexus isn't the only one that does vocal chops you could actually find a lot of different softwares for vocal chops and you could actually make your own vocal chops um, from other people's music uh, if you download vocal stems um, then you could create your, you know, you could cut them up, the audio uh, files, and you can make your own vocal chops there. 
If you want someone to just listen to your tracks, give you some feedback, maybe you need feedback on other stuff too. I mean, there's a lot of things in this uh, industry that you're gonna need feedback on, whether it's from how to manage your social media to how to you know, make your track perfect. Go to our feedback page. We have a page on this site, on the teamabl.com site, uh, called Get Feedback. Go to that, that page, fill in the form, type in whatever you want feedback on, and guess what? You're gonna get detailed feedback within 48 hours that will help you get the answers that you need to succeed. So that's it for our video today on Future House. I know that we barely just touched the basics, so if there's something else that you need more information on or something that we talked about that you have more questions on, be sure to leave some comments below uh, on YouTube, and I will definitely respond to those comments.